Hey guys, I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. So today's been a quiet, relaxful day. Um, I stayed in a little bit this morning um, after my alarm went off. I ended up getting up about 9.30. And I had been, ever since yesterday evening, well, since about like 9 o'clock last night, craving a hot dog. And... I don't have hot dogs here, but, um, that's all I could think about last night. It's like, I almost got up and went to Sonic last night just to get a hot dog. But, knowing me and my tendency towards having reflux, um, 9 o'clock at night is a little too late for me to be eating, so, I... Ended up going to bed, got up this morning, and I had a hot dog from Sonic for breakfast. So, it was good. And, had that, and I had a cherry limeade slush, which is good, except it gives me brain freeze. But, um, I'm still kind of craving hot dogs, but... If I'm still craving hot dogs tomorrow, then I will go to Walmart and buy the supplies to make hot dogs at home. But, other than that, I've had a, a nice, relaxing day knitting. Um, I started working on the stitch sampler block that was the, the bow tie block that Sabrina had to show me how to do. And the one I was so concerned about doing it because she explained it so so well I mean it just there was not a problem with, with her explanation at all I was just concerned about my skill level and because I have a tendency like I have a tendency to be a tight knitter so um, my tension tends to be really tight and I was kind of concerned with that because I knew there's a uh, some spots where you had to leave the uh, a loop, you had to leave the loop, but you didn't want it to be too tight, and you needed to make sure that the tension was consistent, and so I was kind of concerned about that, but I went through, and look what I did. I made bow ties. It's still a little tight, and I'm quite happy. There's the, the loops I was talking about that you don't want to get too tight. I've, um, you have to go through the pattern three times, and so I am on my third time through. So I did quite a bit today. I was quite happy with that. Um, so I'm just... And I was just able to follow... The little tutorial that she made for me and made it through just without any problems and I am just so thrilled so I've got that one and then there's still this stitch the first stitch M um, one that I had a problem with block 11 that I still have um, I may go back and try it again. I think okay, so apparently there are video tutorials on there. I never noticed that before. I will have to go and look at some of those. Um, I know I've got a couple other um, of the other months that they've got some blocks that look like you know, a little bit confusing for me, so I will, I have a lot more confident now, confidence, so I think maybe I'll be able to actually go in and do those, um, those blocks that looked a little too hard for me. So, but anyway, tomorrow is ECT, and normally my sister would be taking me, but she is still fairly gimpy with her blood clot in her leg and um, 
she's still moving with a walker, which she can drive, but she's not walking so great. And I don't want them to be worried about her ability to get in the truck and drive and whatnot tomorrow. And Crystal has offered to take me, um, which is such a big help. Um, Chuck was going to be able to take me, and it, but um, he has a meeting on Mondays at that his meeting starts right around the time that I am getting done with ECT, which means I have to sit there. I would have to sit there and wait a couple hours for his meeting to be over before he'd be able to come get me, which if. You know, if Crystal weren't able to help me um, to help me out, then I would, you know, I would wait those couple hours. But I am thankful that I don't have to wait those extra couple hours. So, but um, excuse me. So I think tomorrow I will. I probably won't take this with me to ECT just because it's kind of hard to stop in the middle of. Um, if if I stop in the middle of a row, then I have to. Well, I can count and figure it out. I might end up taking it with me. It's not the easiest one um, to take with me. I would either usually take squares or you know for the project I'm doing with Sabrina or the um, scrunchies that I make. Because those are easy ones that I can just um, easily sit down in the middle of whatever I'm doing, you know, when they come get me. So, but I don't know. I will think about it. See I'll, what I work on tonight. See if I get any more done on it. Um, so, excuse me. But other than that, I really don't have anything planned for tomorrow other than ECT and maybe shopping for some hot dog supplies. Um, so, but anyway, that's all I've got for today and I will see you guys tomorrow.